We go right to the crime beat this morning and we start off in Texas where four people were shot at a San Antonio mall just last night. Las últimas cifras de casos de COVID-19 en el estado de Luisiana. We're going to check in with you, Brian, in just a bit. We've got a lot going on right now. Happening now, we continue our commitment to get you the latest information on COVID-19. Right now, Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt and his COVID-19 Solution Task Force are holding their press conference. Let's listen in. At the time right now, 6.08, the impeachment of President Donald Trump enters its last and final chapter. You're taking a live look right now at our White House. A final vote on whether to acquit or convict will be held in Washington, D.C. this afternoon. And despite the history behind this moment, there is very little suspense, mostly because the Republican Party has the majority of the Senate and is expected to acquit the president on both counts. We've been talking about this lockdown, this shutdown. Everybody wants to return back to normal. And this is my thing. I say yes. let's move forward to something better. I hope more people will enjoy stuff like that, the great outdoors, their families, yes. and just kind of just absorbing yes. all of that. So thank you so much. I love that Absolutely. Package. It lifts the spirit. It does lift the spirit, no doubt. Everybody's talking about they're so mad that the four walls of the church have had to come down and we have to be outside. I think that's the way God wants it. We were not meant to be the lights in an Gee, area where everybody hey, thinks like us, talks like us, sounds like us. We have to be lights in the darkness. Where did Jesus preach? This is about what? This is about the great spent acres all from Zion. Bella was a character. Everybody knew Bella and everybody loved Bella. I didn't know till afterwards how many people that child touched. Deanna Smith fights back tears as she remembers her nine-year-old daughter, Isabella or Bella, and the day her life would forever be changed. She wanted to go to her cheer class early because her teacher said, if you come early, then we'll work on your back bends. And she was so excited. So we were leaving early that night. February 26 was a normal day in the Smith household. Deanna's daughter was getting ready for cheer practice that afternoon. She had just finished painting her nails. And I'd ask her to go over to the mailbox to uh, get the mail. And she was so worried about her fingernails being wet. Bella ran down the driveway toward the busy State Highway 154 in Diana, Texas. I told her the last thing I said to her was, don't worry about it, you can get the mail with the other hand. And that's the last thing I said. And she got out of the car and normally she looked both ways. In fact, she checked it several times, but for some reason she was looking at her hand. And she got out of the car and she just took off running. And she never looked. And, uh... Patrick Johnson, an area youth counselor and former pastor, was heading home to his family that day. He had been running some errands for an upcoming trip he was planning to take his students on. He was heading eastbound, going the speed limit. Just that fast, uh, it happened. You know, I, I hit Bella and... I don't know, it's like I'm... In, in a bad dream or horror movie or something. Johnson jumped out of his car and ran to Bella's side. Deanna grabs my hand and we're both crying and praying and crying and praying and... Deanna, we were begging God to please save her. And we held each other's hands and we prayed. As reality set in, Deanna chose not to let anger fill her heart. Instead, she saw another victim in this tragedy. And I kept telling Patrick before I left his side, it's not your fault because it wasn't his fault. My daughter's the one who didn't look. Deanna's compassion was captured by this photograph taken at Bella's funeral, a photo that's been shared by hundreds on social media and continues to make its rounds across the internet. I just saw you and when you were shaking, something in me made me get up and come and hold you. I knew that going, viewing the body, uh, looking at Bella was a part of the healing process and I had to do it, but I was walking as slow as I could and my wife was holding me. And inside I'm saying, Lord, give me strength, Lord, give me strength. You would have to steps. know Jesus to, to step out and not hate him or, yeah. you know, hold a grudge against him. You had to know that, that God was in, in the midst of it all. I love 
Since the tragedy, both families have become close friends. I thought about how when it was closer to time for the funeral and everybody started getting ready, and I'm sitting there and I'm helping Brennan and some of the other family members, the little kids, button up their shirts as if we had known each other all of our life or whatever. And it's like, hey, you know, help me with my shirt or whatever. I mean, that's just what we were doing. And it was, it's, it's hard to explain. Patrick now uses this experience when ministering and counseling others. I have a feeling that that's why that this happened is so I could meet him. Together, the Johnsons and Smiths are lifting each other up and carrying on the memory of the little girl who touch lives. We're gonna make it through I this. know we are. And many more, Bella never even met. God's gonna get the glory in all of this. I know he is. God's gonna get the glory in I all know. of this.